You're my queen from Boston. Survive, I'm your king from Boston. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is Straight Out of Boston, or AKA the King of Boston, and today we have episode three of the Jeff Samarja um, connected career mode. And um, so today we have weeks five through eight. If you guys are wondering where one through four are, they're or they're going to be posted um, on Phaser Athletics, which I'll I should have posted a link video to already. But if you missed it. Um, I'll put the link to that video in the description, and you can go check it out. So these are weeks five through eight. Uh, the Seahawks entered this week five, or, yeah, week five game against the Carolina Panthers at four and zero. Surprisingly, however, these next four weeks is the emergence of Tavares Jackson, and by emergence, I mean realizing how bad he is, especially when you're playing on all Madden. It's just like ridiculous. All he does is overthrow you, underthrow you, lob it when you're supposed to zip it, and you know throw interceptions so uh, towards the end of this video you're gonna see a little new um, graphic that I've decided to do uh, you know how I have the little picture of Manny every time he a, every time he hits a home run in my uh, Manny being Manny series well you're gonna see something uh, later in this video it doesn't come up till about the second half of the video but you'll see it and uh, I also will say that uh, j I messed up I messed up the game face a little bit so it, it turns out you can't like if you start a thing with a game face and then change your game face it'll automatically change your old connected career to it. So, uh, Jeff's game face is looking a little bit weird right now, looking a little too pale. I tried to change it to my own. Obviously, I'm a pretty pale guy, and I'm sorry. That was my iPad going off. I apologize. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty pale guy myself, so, you know, that's why Jeff looks a little pale right now. <laughs> but I, I fix it in the next episode. You'll see. Anyway, he does have a very good game against the New England Patriots in this, so you'll definitely want to check that out. I also want to say I'm going to be live streaming today. I'm going to live stream uh, me playing Madden Ultimate Team around 3 o'clock-ish, maybe 3.30. I'm not going to touch Ultimate Team until uh, that live stream because so, I want you guys to help me out with it. Give me some pointers, some tips and stuff because I'm sure a couple of you maybe have played it already. And I'm not the biggest Ultimate Team guy, so and I also haven't really seen too many like trailers on it or anything like that and any news about it. Although I do have the, um, the Calvin Johnson pre-order code, the 99 Calvin Johnson and the, uh, the, like, Barry Sanders, John Madden thing, as well, for pre-ordering in general. I also, uh, haven't decided what I'm going to pick for my captain. I was thinking maybe Cam Newton, but I'm not really sure. It seems like it's a pretty popular choice, and I, I don't know, I guess I pride myself on being someone different, so. Anyway, and once again, here we go with the proof that I do play on all Madden, guys. It's amazing. I know. <laughs> it's really not, but people always just, like... Seem to think that, you know, when someone does well, they're automatically not playing at all Madden. But anyway, this is the monster game we have against the um, Patriots. At some point in this game, I think Sidney Rice gets hurt. Or maybe it was Mike Williams. So, um, you know, it, it was Sidney Rice. And then, he, you know, we end up being this two the number two receiver or something. Or I'm pretty sure that's this game because we end up with like a 279 yards or something like that and three touchdowns. It's freaking incredible. And we're in the lime greens, which are uh, pretty nice. Figured I'd throw those in there for you guys because I know a lot of people like to see those. Anyway, uh, I also want to mention that I did post a Reggie Bush video earlier today, so if you guys haven't seen that, you definitely want to check that out. Anyway, um, I did get my full retail copy of the Madden 13. This is still game gameplay from the early release, but I did pick up my full retail copy yesterday. And uh, whoa, sorry, I just got like a cramp in the in my side. I don't know, that was weird. Anyway, I did pick up my full retail copy, and it is quite fun. Um, there's not really much else I can say about it, except that it's hella fun, and, uh, I have, like, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's really, it's not any different than the season ticket, except for the ultimate team, which I haven't touched yet, so it, it you know, it, my, my opinions really haven't changed on it, but, and you guys are also gonna notice I really don't run my routes too much, I hope you guys don't, like, hate me for that, don't hate me, um, but, uh, I, I just typically don't really, uh, run my routes, I try to get open, and a lot of the time the routes won't lead you to getting open, so I just kind of run my own routes, and it doesn't always work out, it actually leads to some interceptions sometimes, but, you know, when I do that, it's it's a lot better than doing the route that they wanted me to do, so. Anyway, I also want to say that, uh, after I posted my video yesterday about the Fantasy Football League, I want to say that if you did get in the league, then you were messaged last night, if you didn't, then I'm sorry you didn't comment in time, uh, I apologize, and maybe you'll get it next year or something like that, I, I don't know. I, uh, I think I'm only going to do one league, so I apologize, but anyway, um, 
I don't know when we're going to do the draft, but I'll let you guys know if you guys need to. Well, I, I, I messaged you some details about it, so I don't want to make it, I don't want to talk about it too much. But anyway, we're going up against the San Francisco 49ers here, and this is the emergence, well, not the emergence, again. This is really where Tavares Jackson and his mediocre quarterback skills uh, started to stand out. We're already down 10 nothing at the close to the end of the first quarter, and he's just going to lob that one in there, and it, it's like, how am I supposed to catch that? How am I supposed to hang on? You know, I'm a possession receiver, so I'm supposed to have, like, decent hands, but... And here we go, he lobs it out of bounds so that no one can get to it. And, uh, you know, I, I really did not have that well of a game, got that good of a game this game just because, you know, of Tavares Jackson. And uh, there again, just throws it right into coverage. I know I call for the ball, but, I mean, I call for the ball a lot, but it's like it should be able to tell that, you know, if I'm not open, then, um, you know, not to throw to me the ball. And there it is, hashtag t Jack system. You guys are all familiar with the Kobe system, I'm, sh I'm assuming, but uh, we have our own thing here in this series. It's going to be called Hashtag t -Jack System because Tavares Jackson... See, if you guys don't know about t -Jack System, basically, you throw on your Tavares Jackson cl cleats and you automatically go out there and throw three interceptions per game. That's how t -Jack System works. And uh, I heard he's getting his own commercial line soon, so you'll probably see it on a, on a YouTube ad at some point. You know, T-Jack system. If you guys don't have your T-Jack, your Nike T-Jacks, you should probably go out and buy them. I got a pair here, right here, nine and a half, just like my foot size. And uh, yeah, they work pretty well. I'm uh, able to be a mediocre quarterback in real life and in the video game. And I'm also able to play with one in Tavares Jackson. So that's great. Everybody should go out and buy their T-Jacks. T-Jack system, don't forget it. Hashtag T-Jack system. You want to... Uh, Tweet that out. Feel free. Let's get that training on Twitter. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But oh my God, Tavares Jackson's so bad. Here he goes. He overthrows me again. I had to get up and I got absolutely destroyed on that. You're going to see sometimes, like I think in the next game too, I just get wide open on streak routes. I absolutely beat my defender. And so that's my phone. Whoopsie. Sorry about that. And there he goes again. I throw another interception. I didn't put the hashtag t -Jack system in there, but uh, I apologize. Anyway. Uh, you'll, don't worry, you'll see it again in this video. It's not the only time. Here we go. I beat my defender flat out, and he just throws it right over me. I mean, it's like... Oh, man. I don't know if it's if it's easier on a lower difficulty, but we end up losing 43-8 to against the San Francisco 49ers. We fall to 5-2. and two, And uh, that was not too good, to say the least. You can see there again the picture of... Lost to the 49ers. I don't think I tweeted that one out, to be honest, just because... Uh, <laughs> it was a little too embarrassing to tweet out. But here we go. This is where the real T-Jack system starts. It's going to start on the first throw of the game and T-Jack system. Intercepted by Louis Delmas. Delmas. I don't really know how to pronounce that. Had the guy. I was wide open. I beat him. And, you know, Tavares Jackson just decided to be himself. This game would be uh, a lot closer than the San Francisco 49ers game. It was not a blowout like the other one. I'm not going to say if we won or lost. You'll have to stick around. It gets pretty good at the end, to be honest. But anyway, they're getting another terrible throw by Tavares Jackson. I know it's not just Tavares Jackson. A lot of it's me calling for the ball. But I still say they should be smart enough to, like, not throw me the ball if I'm open. And there we fail on a fourth down because Tavares Jackson is not too smart and throws it into a guy running right into a defender. Hey, Tavares Jackson. But there he actually hits me. Let me pick up a nice gain on that play. See, there are two receptions for 22 yards already. And now um, now that we've been moved back to the slot receiver, we're not getting as many throws towards us, not getting as many targets. But there we run off our route a little bit, straight down the sideline and get the touchdown. So, you know, Tavares Jackson actually throwing a touchdown is pretty impressive. But, uh, you know, I was thinking about it the other day, and this Seattle Seahawks wide receiving core is really good if they added a Jeff Samarja type. Because they have two, you know, deep threats in Sidney Rice and Mike Williams, and you've got a really nice slot receiver, I think, in Golden Tate. I really like Golden Tate. Um, you know, I think he's a, you know, he's not like a Deshaun Jackson type and that he's not a deep threat, but, I mean, he's, he's got similar speed. Not as fast, but he's got speed, he's got good hands, and uh, he's definitely a good slot receiver. And then some, adding some Marja in there as the third or fourth guy is uh, quite the uh, receiving core you got now, especially with Kellen Winslow and Zach Miller as your tight ends. But there, Samarja goes up and gets the touchdown, his second of the day. Of the day. And you're going to see your 24-21. We're trying to make a comeback, but you know what? You can't make a comeback on Tavares Jackson's team because of t jack system. It's just that t jack system. Maybe if you wear different cleats, I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, he's wearing those Tavares Jackson ones. You'll probably see in the next year, he'll probably come out with the twos. They'll probably be a lot. They'll probably make you even more of a mediocre quarterback. So, I don't know. 
might have to uh, you know might have to throw some of those on if I uh, do a quarterback connected career. Some of those T Jacks, the T Jack ones, but definitely the best shoes out there. Probably the best football cleat, uh, you know, one of the best football cleats ever invented. But there's Samarja goes up and gets his third touchdown of the game. You know what? I think this was actually the monster game I had, not against the Patriots, but and here we recover the onside kick after a lot of scrambling there. Zach Miller ends it up ends up with it. So 40 seconds left. We have a chance now, right? T Jack system. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this gameplay here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please snap up the video if you did, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this was the monster game I had, not against the Patriots, where I end up with like 279 yards. So, and that's going to wrap up this game. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. This was I'm out. Peace.